Hello and welcome to Trade of the Week for the week starting Monday the 6th of March. Let's look back at last week's trade before we move into the new one. That was short Nat Gas. Unfortunately, this didn't work out, but ultimately I've got to stick by my view that that is if you've got a trend that's very clear, it's still a trend until you see a breakout from that move. And that's exactly what we we're looking for. We saw this retracement coming in towards that key area of resistance. And so it was a question mark of, does it finally break this long-term downtrend that's been lasting for months? Well, it did in the end, ultimately. Um, and so that points towards a potential change of trajectory for this market. Notably, it also uh, saw this big uh, hammer candle. So it points towards a potential bottom for this market now. Certainly something what I wrote, something that I wrote about on Friday. Uh, so make sure to take a look on that. Um, but as things move forward, things are going to potentially look a little bit more positive for this market. But ultimately, until I see that breakout, for me, I think there's a good chance that we're going to see more of the same. This time it didn't happen. In terms of what we're looking for the week ahead, I want to look at silver. Now, we've seen this market moving towards the downside following a rally into trendline resistance. You can see absolutely perfectly tapped it, topped out. And for me, I just think we're in the middle of a downward trajectory that I think is likely to last. Last week, we did see some gains, but this is essentially down to the fact that we have seen uh, the strength and resurgence of the US dollar taking a bit of a break. I think we're likely to see dollar strength coming back into play. And therefore, I think we're likely to see more downside here for silver. The fact that we've seen this rebound over the course of the past week is a positive for us because we can utilize that. And so essentially, we can see here we've got 21.98. So I'm just going to put it at 2200. Um, hopefully, we shouldn't get to that level. So I'll put my stop loss at 2200 and looking for a short move towards the downside. If we're looking at the moment, 2200, so you're talking about 89 points, something like that. So I think if we put the target at the 2000 mark, hopefully, we can nip in for around about 113 points towards the downside for silver.